Now to enter your expenses in, it's very easy, it's the same process, except you get more details so you know what you're spending your money on. So step one, of course, go over to the date field, type in the date, again, 611-2007, and here's another little trick. Instead of hitting enter, or instead of hitting the arrow key, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard because you're going one cell to the right of this one. So if you hit the right arrow key on your keyboard, it will enter that value into the date cell and then move you over into the description column automatically. So let's say, for instance, that we bought maps. We type that in, and then now we're going to use our right arrow key to go one at a time under the column that we want. A map is a, is a supply. It's not necessarily equipment. So we'll put it under supplies. Say we spent $20 and we hit enter. Notice the upper right hand corner the running total of expenses automatically adjusted and it looks like supplies is only maps we don't have anything else under supplies so when we go to our summary page it should only say twenty dollars total for supplies so let's take a trip to the summary page we go look at supplies and you see it's only twenty dollars if I go back to the expenses tab and say oh I actually bought thirty dollars worth of maps 30.00 and hit enter. Go back to the summary page and notice that supplies is updated automatically to 30.